Hey again everybody, Robert184, Gundam.tk, good to have you here. Last time I was talking about that there is going to be a new Gundam series airing in the fall, and Bandai's going to be having a presentation on the weekend that you can watch and find out all about that, but, well, thanks to the wonders of the internet, Koro Koro Comics has come out early, and scans of that are all over the internet, which means we get our first look at the new Gundam series, Gundam Age, starting now. As mentioned, all of this is from Koro Koro Comics, and that's a comic that's aimed at elementary students, maybe junior high at the most, but we're talking Pokemon, Doraemon, stuff like that, so it gives you an idea of where this new series may be aimed at. But the most important thing, the most interesting thing that they talked about is that this series is going to be about three generations of protagonists, and they're going to be facing off against an unidentified enemy, and it's actually going to be made with the full cooperation of Level 5 of video game fame from Fukuoka, and it's going to be written by their company president, Akihiro Hino, all of which is a little bit surprising to me. All this information that I'm bringing you is from my favorite Japanese blog, Hayamimi Gunpla Information Channel, and that's online. I'll have the links down below. And they speculate that there's going to be news. Uh, they'll be talking about this more at the Tokyo Toy Show coming up on June 16th. And hopefully they'll be showing off some of the Gunpla and figures that are related. But remember, on June 13th at 1.30 p.m. in Japanese time, this is going to be officially launched by Bandai and Sunrise. Taking a look at the actual scans, again, it's the three generations that they focus on. Father, son, and grandson. And they call this whole thing our generation's Gundam, but they're also using the young term Boku, so that could again just be another indication. And the most important thing about this, the series is called Gundam Age, and the MS itself is going to be using the Age system, which is a self-developing or self-growth computer, which means that the MS will be developing as the story goes on. The story of the series is based around protecting Earth from an unidentified and mysterious attack from what they call the UE. And it, there is going to be an Earth Federation, similar to a lot of other Gundam which, uh, series, and they actually build the Gundam with the goal of protecting humanity, and it has the power to slice and cut through the enemies, and I'm sure they'll do that in a quite visually impressive way. Now, the characters seem somewhat intriguing just because of the three generations aspect, and uh, pronunciations, I'm sure, will change. But the first hero is going to be Fleet, or Frito, I think I'm going to call them Frito Lay's potato chips, uh, Asuno. And he is the developer of the Gundam Age 1. That's the name of the mobile suit. And he's going to be followed up by his son, Asim, and then his grandson, Kyo. So Frito, Asim, and Kyo. And the enemy seems to be called the Gafran, or something like that. They are an alien-like mysterious enemy who attacks humanity. But of course, it's not just going to be those three alone. They're going to have some help in the form of their friends, Emily, uh, who was Frito's from seven years old. She was Frito's first friend. And there's Grudek, who's the Earth Federation Lieutenant Colonel or Commander. He's the captain of their ship. So if you want to go back to White Base, the Diva, something like that. And there's also going to be Mireis, and she is Diva's communicator chief. So I wonder if she will be a little bit of eye candy. But moving on to the mobile suit itself, the name of the new, the inheritor of Exia, the Mark II, and things like that is the Gundam Age 1. And that's a number one after that. And again, this is a machine that can grow and develop thanks to the age system that it's got on board. It has, it gains battlefield experience. As it gains battlefield experience, its appearance can change, which means they can also sell more models. But that's just my editorial there. And it has its normal type, the age one normal, which you can see the images down below. And it also has the sparrow variation. It's its speed type. So going back to strike where it'll have three variations, I suppose. This is in cool blue and it can cut through enemies with its sharp blades. And it's also going to have its Titus form, which is the power type. It doesn't seem to have any weapons, but it can crush enemies with unbelievable force. Or so the internet would have you believe. Now, moving on, it seems like they have four big plans for this whole thing, and they are in progress. Uh, the manga, of course, this is from Koro Koro, so they're focusing on the manga. Uh, they're going to have a manga about the world of age, and it's going to be the fastest manga version, and that's sort of important because we'll probably get more than one. There are going to be mo models and figures, of course. Uh, I'll talk about that in just a minute, and there's going to be games uh, with level 5 being involved. I don't see how there'd be anything but. And you can become age's protagonists, and you can fight in the 100-year war. 
And there's also going to be cards, which I don't know a lot about, but it seems like it's going to be called the Gundam Tri-Age. And it's a scan battle, and that'll start at the end of July. But here's the big one for most of the people who are on this site. Yes, the models and figures, the mobile suits, good news, will be perfectly reproduced. The bad news, perhaps if you're a fan of higher-end models, is you don't need tools to build the models themselves. So I think that gives you a very good indication of where this is aimed at. Uh, also, it's going to have a lot of parts that are replaceable, renewable, things like that. But the idea being that you can probably swap a whole bunch of stuff on and off. And they say that lets you enjoy the figures even more. There you have it. That's my wrap-up of the news leak of Gundam Age. Thanks to Hayamimi and all the news websites that have done a good job of getting this news out there. I'll be here on the weekend, of course, to talk about it when Bandai and Sunrise do their actual release. And... I think I'm going to save my reactions for another video. But uh, thanks for listening to this, everybody. Hope you're interested. We'll see what happens with this new show before. I don't want to make too rash of a judgment, but it's still going to be intriguing to see what they end up doing. And, of course, they are going to be selling a lot of models. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Anyway, stay tuned for lots more talk about this series and models in general. As always, robert 184 tk Thanks for watching. And it is going to be uh, Earth Federation who completes a Gundam and their whole job is to protect humanity and answer the telephone.